this week's dinner was my rendition of Cabanero Pasta. So you see here I'm trying to bake in. Personally, for me, I don't like my bacon it too crispy, so I didn't fry it too much. But here I'm putting in the pasta. I use egg time noodles, if you want to know. I am removing the bacon. a lot of bacon so I put another round <laughs> of me flipping it. I, I like it cooked but um not like too crispy. And now this is me uh, making the sauce. I used half and half. You can use cream or like whole milk. Um, with um, egg, egg yolks. And some parmesan. Some shredded parmesan. And we're going to whip that up. Adding some black pepper to spice it up a bit. I ended up like just you know seasoning it like my own way because you know I like my food to have a taste for. So those are the cooked noodles and now I'm adding the sauce that I just whipped up for the pasta. Mix it around. Now we're adding the bacon. I shredded the bacon. And now I'm adding a little cream cheese. Some minced garlic because you know garlic just makes everything taste better. And then I am garnishing it with some basil to give it like a nice fragrant kick. it all together and voila hey guys so i wanted to give an update on my um heat damage my hair um so i've noticed that my strands got like a little um weak because like now when i'm styling my hair like i feel like I don't know because I don't style my hair every day so um maybe it's just like 
um the natural shedding but for me like before the heat damage i wasn't i was getting shedding but not as much as i'm getting now like it's not a, like an absurd amount of shedding but it is definitely um more than normal so i just wanted to give that update um my hair is uh like slowly reverting back to its natural curl pattern um but yeah um personally i feel like i didn't use enough um heat protectant i'm even trying to remember if i used any heat protectant um when doing that silk press and i honestly think that that's what caused it um but if you have any like suggestions of like really good heat protectants and things or like you know different products when silk pressing your hair um because i like to i tend to like to silk press my hair um to give it a trim so that like it can all be on the same level and um yeah so if you have any ideas of uh, any suggestions of like certain products um you know heat protectants that you can use when silk pressing your hair to um, minimize heat damage please comment down below all opinions will be greatly appreciated um, but yeah but overall my hair is still healthy which um I know it's from like you know prior to the silk press I just kept up with my you know my hair routines and things like that and then while it's in its damaged state like I'm trying to keep it moist and things like that we all know like sometimes you know i go some time without like oiling my scalp oiling my strands you know so i've been trying to keep up on that especially now that i'm seeing so much of the shedding and you know my handy dandy black tea <clears throat> i was out of sugar so i had to go get me some sugar because i was like let me start back on my black tea because i remember when i was shedding before and it was it was not about a silk press and i started to drink my black tea I don't know if it was a mental thing, but personally, I felt like it helped. So I got some sugar now. Um, so I'm going to um, try my black tea and see if that can help with like the shedding. And I've just been doing like, you know, oiling it down um, and things like that. But I'm still seeing shedding. So if you have any suggestions on... um you know heat damage from a silk press please comment down below um and yeah um so basically i've just been basically experimenting right now which i've been doing a good job proud of myself <laughs> so yeah um i've been doing my little experiments and um they have been working but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm just over this heat damage right now. And um, yeah. Um, so if you have any tips. Because like I was looking into some things. But sometimes the product itself does not say like um, heat damage repair. You know, I, like I'll see uh, like some suggestions. And the product itself doesn't say like, you know, what it's at, what it actually can do. And then you'll get like a suggestion from somebody that says, oh, well, I use this when I experienced that and it actually, you know, helped. So that's why I'm asking for your suggestions. Like if you've ever experienced heat damage, you know, it may not be a heat protectant. It may not be a, you know, something, but it whatever it is can help with that, you know. So if anybody has any suggestions, but yeah, but for the most part. Um, my hair is still healthy and, um, yeah, I am just, I'm actually, you know, the heat damage portion is a little bit annoying, but I'm like having so much fun learning, um, my hair and learning, you know, like these, I wouldn't even call it a mistake. I just feel like it's a growing process. You know, I'm learning my hair. I'm learning my do's and my don'ts. Um, so I'm actually having a good time, which surprisingly, you know, I mean, when I first saw the heat damage, I was just like, oh my goodness, um, I probably did not put enough heat protectant on my hair. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. But after a while, I was like, you know, this is a learning 
experience. This is a process. So, you know, my hair was chosen to get this heat damage for probably for me to be able to suggest to somebody in the future who's going through heat damage, like, what did I do, you know, to bring my curls back? Or, you know, just like how I'm looking for answers on how to, you know, revert my hair, I can be of help to someone, you know. That's just how the world works sometimes. Um, but yeah, for the most part, um, we're healthy. Um, you know, of course, styling is, a, I wouldn't say a little bit more difficult. It's just, you know, you know, it's not more difficult. It's just not, well, now that it's been heat damaged for a little while now, my styling is not difficult. But when I, when it first happened, um, because there, my curls are in certain parts and like, it's just like really like one section that's really that heat damage. So the rest of my hair is in my normal curls and... But, you know, you have to kind of get this side now that's that has the damage to look like the rest of your hair. So that was a little bit of a um, task, um, which I did my best and it looks good. So, um, but I'm just trying to get it to move a little bit faster. <laughs> and even if it doesn't, as I said, as long as it's staying healthy... I don't even mind so I just don't I just um I'm afraid of the shedding because I noticed with the heat damage those strands are a little bit weaker so I just don't want at some point you know it's so much shedding so much shedding then I start seeing like ball spots or <laughs> you know like thinning edges which I you know took so long and took all my time to build and and grow healthy and things like that so I've just been using like a lot of um, leave-in conditioners, um, oils, you know, keeping it moist um, so it has a less chance of breaking and it has been working, but I do notice because sometimes I put it in a ponytail um, and I do notice that like, you know, I'll leave it in the ponytail and then I'll take it out of the ponytail and then I'll have a little bit of shedding and I, I, I don't, I don't understand why because um what i use to hold my ponytail is satin so it's not like it's giving any friction on my hair or anything so um i don't know but you know your hair sheds daily so it's not like as i said it's not an absurd amount of shedding but it's just a little bit too much for me and it's um more shedding than normal for me but it's not like overly shedding i don't know how to explain it but yeah it's just shedding a little bit and you know my hair is fine so <laughs> i need every last strand <laughs> that's in my hair like i don't have thick hair so i don't have much room for all of this shedding <laughs> so that's what probably freaks me out maybe if i had like a thick head of hair and i was seeing the shedding and maybe even a little bit more than normal it wouldn't freak me out so bad but <laughs> I already have thin hair. Like, my whole head, a person with thick hair, my whole head is like a quadrant of their head. So, I need all my strands, okay? So, if anybody has any um, suggestions, it doesn't even have to be heat protecting. It could just be like, you know, like a, maybe like a conditioner or some sort of product to bring back your hair to life and things like that. Uh, comment down below. And, yeah. Um... So that's the update that I wanted to, um, if you have any other questions, you know, about heat damage and like the little, my little research and my little trial and errors that I'm doing, you can always comment down below. I'll take you along my journey. Anything that you really want to know, you comment down below. And I do plan to take you guys on my journey on repairing my hair anyway. Um, and I also want to start doing some more like vlog styled content. Um, I feel like I don't speak to you guys enough, um, so I feel like I'm going to start doing more vlog style, so, um, if there's, like, you know, whatever interests you, whatever you want to see me do, you know, comment down below. If you don't want to comment down below, you can always email me, and I will respond, and yeah, so, um, 2023, we're coming through strong, and... 
we're gonna do more vlogging i would like to interact with you guys more so i'm gonna speak to you guys more and yeah you just comment down below anything that you would like to ask me you can always email me if you don't want to be all out in the public and that's that but i do appreciate you all for watching me each week and um comment down below if you would like to see me do more uploads would you like like a, a middle of the week upload like you know same weekend upload but then like a middle of the week upload um you know like little things like maybe how i styled my hair um you know the season out uh, you know so uh inspirational seasonal outfits things like that you can you know if you want me to upload like midweek along with my weekend upload you know comment down below if you guys would like to see me more often because i'm thinking about doing that as well um and yeah so thank you all for your support and i'll see you next time